Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are talking about which weights you should be using, tungsten or lead. If you love bass fishing or fishing in general, subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week that help teach you how to catch more fish. I also run series, so be sure to check out my playlist as well. This particular video is a part of Fishing Fundamentals playlist. If you click the little I up here at the top when you're done watching this video, you can go to that playlist and watch all those videos in the Fishing Fundamentals. Now let's start talking about which weights you should be using. So first, let's talk a little bit about the lead. Lead has a density of about 0.41 pounds per cubic inch. Now compared to something that we're all kind of used to like steel, steel has a density of like 0.29 pounds per square or per cubic inch. So lead is obviously more dense than steel or iron. So what does that mean to, to most everyday people? It just means to get the same amount of weight for steel, you need a much larger piece of it. You know, you'll need a big chunk versus a little chunk. To jump right into the price, a 15 pack of quarter ounce bullet weights uh, will cost you about $4.80. That's about 32 cents a weight. And this, this price I got from Bass Pro Shops on their online website. Um, it's their their series, but 32 cents per weight and a whole 15 pack, that's not too bad. Another characteristic of lead is that it is a little bit, well, it's not a little bit softer. It is a pretty soft metal that you can form and modify as needed. So say you have a, I don't know, a half ounce weight and you really needed a quarter ounce weight. You just cut that sucker in half and now you got a quarter ounce weight, roughly. But you get my point. You can modify these guys. You can mold them. You can even melt them down if you needed to. Now tungsten, on the other hand, is a lot more dense than lead. It has a density of 0.7 pounds per cubic inch. And remember the lead had a 0.4 pounds per cubic inch. So it's almost twice as dense, meaning you need half the volume, half the chunk to make the same amount of weight. So tungsten is extremely expensive. A quarter ounce three pack tungsten is gonna run you $4.30. That is a whopping $1.43 per weight, where the lead was 32 cents. So you can get almost four, almost five of the lead weights for one of the tungsten weights. That's a huge price difference. So unlike the lead weights, Tungsten can't be modified. You can't cut it, you can't chip it away. If you do, it's gonna shatter and crumble. And that has to do with how, how it's made and the type of molecules and molecular bonds and all that, all that gibberish. Uh, ultimately, you can't modify it, it's not soft. You try to, it's just gonna crumble on you. So ultimately, what does this mean to us fishermen? Well. Tungsten is going to have a smaller profile for the same amount of weight as a larger lead one would have. So that means as you want it to fall through the water, the lead one is going to fall faster because it has less resistance against it. Since the lead one is larger, it is going to have more resistance against it. So it's going to fall a little slower even though they're the exact same weight. So this leads me to which one is better? Which one should you be using? Which ones should I be using? Well, it's actually a little bit of both in my opinion. So for the smaller weights. So you're, you're using a smaller weight to slow down the fall of your bait. So it kind of makes sense that you would want to use a lead weight. You're already wanting it to fall kind of slowly and having the fish hit it on the fall. So using a lead weight for some of your smaller baits and, and styles that you're wanting to have fall, slow falls, lead's gonna work just perfect for you. But then on the other hand, you have these situations where you directly wanna be fishing the bottom and you 
really don't want to wait forever to get for it to get down there. Um, and you can use tungsten weights to get down there really fast, like you're flipping weeds and that kind of thing, or uh, even fishing a deep point. Use a tungsten weight in that situation. That way you have a faster fall and you are on the bottom very fast. And you're not wasting all your time waiting on your bait to fall. Well, I hope this video pointed out several of the key differences between lead and tungsten weights. Um, I hope this video also pointed you in the right direction on which ones you need to pick up and put in your terminal tackle box. I use a combination of both depending on, hey, what kind of situation am I in? Uh, lead weights, pretty cheap. So if I'm in a situation where I think I'm gonna get hung up a lot and may lose a few, I'll remember to put on a lead weight versus my tungsten because tungsten's pretty expensive and I like to keep those and not lose those as often. But like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.